I'm Anil Kumar and here is a thinking and communication question for our grade 7 students. The topic is volume of rectangular prisms. The question here is, a box has a volume of 546 centimeter cube. Its length is one more than the width and height is one more than twice the width. Find the dimensions of the box. Now this is extremely complicated question. Now I like you to pause the video, think about it and solve. Once you have some solution, look into my suggestions, right? So the question here is, we are given volume. So volume is given to us as 546 centimeter cube. And we need to find dimensions of the box. When we say box, we are trying to say rectangular box. So, so let me sketch kind of a box. So, so we will have something like this rectangular box. So that is the top portion and let's say that is the height of the box, right? So that is the height of the box and like we'll just close it like this, correct? So that is kind of a box which we are looking into. We know that the volume of this box is 546 centimeter cube. Now what else do we know? It says length is one more than twice okay it says length is one more than the width that means let us say we have this is length width and height right so we are saying that length is equals to one plus width one more than width and height is one more than twice the width and height h is one more than twice the width so that is the kind of relation which we know. So what are these numbers which can fit in and give you a volume of 546? Hmm. That is indeed difficult. Now our approach here will be to find the numbers by prime factorization, right? So prime factorization is a technique which we learn in the very beginning, right? Factorization. So we'll apply this technique to find the solution. So here, what we have is a number which is 546. So let us find factors of these numbers. Factors are numbers which when multiplied gives you the product as the number itself. So let's begin by dividing this by prime number 2. So let's see 2. Half of this is 2. 2 times 2 is 4, then 14, 7. You can use calculator also, right? So it is 3. So you can use calculator. So don't hesitate to use calculator. It is 546 divided by 2 equals to 273. Now 273 is a very difficult number. It looks like a prime number, but uh, it, is it prime? No, it is not. If you add 2 and 7, you get 9. 9 plus 3 is 12, so it can be divided by 3, okay, so let's try it out, so we'll divide by 3, so 3 times 9, I mean 3 times 9 is 27, and 3 times 1 is 3, so we get 91, let us check our answer, right, so we have 273, divide this by 3, and you get 91, now 91, 91 does not give us the combination, 2, 3, 91. Mm -hmm. So 3 is one more than 2, that works. But uh, twice 2, more, one more, that does not work. So this is not the solution we are looking for. So what else could be done? Now the question is 91. Is it a prime number? Well, some students think, but I think uh, it could be divided by some number. We know 7 times 3 is 21. So why not try 7? Okay, so 91 divided by 7 is 13. That works, okay. So 7 times 13 is 91. It is very important to remember this. 7 times 13 is 91, okay. Now, are we close to our answer now? I know 7 is a prime number, 13 is a prime number. So it is these four numbers with which we can work. Now the question is, we have to form combination of these numbers so that we could have twice a number, one more, 
and one more than the number itself. So if I combine 2 and 3, combine means by multiplication, we get 6, right? So the numbers are 6, 7 and 13, right? So as you can see, from 6 to 7, I can get by plus 1 and from 6 to 13, I can get by times 2 plus 1. 6 times 2 is 12, 12 plus 1 is 13. It works, right? It works. And therefore, we can say that the dimensions are that width is equal to 6, right? Length is equals to 7 and height is equals to 13. All units are in centimeters because the volume given to us is in centimeter cube, right? So that is how we can actually solve this question. So the dimensions are 6, 7 and 13. I hope you appreciate the steps which we have taken to solve this particular question. I am Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.